New video to show you the moment when Fast and Furious star Paul Walker's Porsche slammed into a light pole and burst into flames. This surveillance video knocks down claims that another car was involved in a possible case of drag racing. Officials are now focusing on speed as the primary cause of the accident. Overnight, friend and co-star Vin Diesel broke his silence during a visit to the crash site. He thanked fans for their support over a police loudspeaker. Thank you. Thank you for coming down here. And, and, and showing that angel up in heaven how much you appreciate it. Diesel also posted a message to his Facebook page Monday and quoted a poem in remembrance of Walker, referring to the actor by his character's name in Fast and Furious, Brian O'Connor. Uh, Vin Diesel wrote, quote, to live in the hearts we leave behind is not, is not to die. I will always love you, Brian, as the brother you were on and off screen. Also new this morning, Walker's father choking back tears as he remembered his son's life and legacy during an interview with Cron. I was proud of him every day of his life. He, he was always doing stuff for us. Big gestures. He just, his heart was so big. This morning, there are new safety concerns about the Carrera GT, you know, the vehicle involved in the crash. Experts tell Sienna the car is difficult to drive, even for veteran race car drivers. Martin Savage has more for you. Paul Walker died in a car most of us could only dream of. A Porsche Carrera GT, an exotic two-seater with three times the horsepower of the average car, capable of going over 200 miles per hour. Price tag, $450,000. Exotic car mechanic Todd Trimble has just finished some routine maintenance on this Carrera GT in Las Vegas. He says, by the way, an oil change costs $900. It's a mid-engine car. You can see uh, the full carbon fiber construction of it. Porsche only made around 1,300 Carrera GTs. And to hear Triple tell it, they're disappearing fast. They're getting rarer and rarer. Most of the time when they do get wrecked, there's not much left of them. So the rumor has that there's 25% already gone. I've no way of verifying that, but Triple does say there were 15 Carrera GTs in Las Vegas. Now... There are only six. Very hard car to drive. Um, it's pure racer's car. You really need to know what you're doing when you drive them, and a lot of people are learning the hard way. That's Paul. Race car driver Randy Popst has driven a Carrera GT. He also taught the actors in the second Fast and Furious movie, including Paul Walker. Worked with all the stars of the film, Paul and Tyrese Gibson and Devin, Devin Aoki. How and was, let me ask you honestly, how was Paul? Paul was by far the best driver. A natural car guy. As for the car, Pope says driving an exotic like the Carrera GT for an experienced driver offers a thrill few vehicles can match. I love the power. 612 horsepower, and the higher you rev the engine, the stronger it pulls. It's just, uh, it's a great feeling. You feel it right in the chest, pushing you back. But the car isn't forgiving of mistakes, lacking the feature common on many conventional cars today, electronic stability control. Stability control is really good at uh, correcting slides, keeping the car from getting out of shape. Everyone I spoke to who drives or works on the car told me pretty much the same thing. In the right hands, it's a great car. But a car like the Carrera GT needs to be driven with great respect because it has so much power and capability. Martin Savage, CNN, Atlanta. <laughs> Autopsies for Walker and the driver, Roger Rodas, uh, who was also killed, are scheduled for later today.